hello guys yeah welcome to my channel and today we are going to continue with the fetal scalp you know the last previous series of um videos we we're talking about the pelvic um ghetto and then we said that the reason why we are learning about the pelvic ghetto is to help us know what is normal and what is abnormal so that we know how to manage our women and prevent unnecessarily prolonged labor or obstructed labor great now the second aspect of this is the fetal skull so in obstetrics the pelvis goes hand in hand with the fetal skull now why do we need to know about the fetal skull three reasons it is the largest part of the fetus it is the largest part of the fetus it is the most resistant and then apart from that it is also um what do i say what do i say it's for most cases it is the head that is presenting about 95 percent of of cases in labor it is the head that is coming it's only five percent that you have other parts like the buttocks the legs the hand and everything but most often it is the head that is coming so for these three reasons that is it is the most resistant it is the largest and then it is in terms of frequency it is the most uh, part of the body that the baby is coming with or presenting with and so we need to know about the fetal scalp great so for um easy learning the the fetal skull is divided into three um divisions now we have the vault the base and then the face the vault the base and the face so when we say the vault of the um the fetal skull what are we talking about we are talking about an imaginary line that is drawn from here this is the orbital ridge the orbital ridge this is the orbit and these are the ridges so an imaginary line line that is drawn here round to under the occipital bone it's known as the vault the vault so the topmost part that looks like the roof is known as the vault good and then we have the face so if we would draw a line under the orbital ridge around to form the vault then it means that everything below the orbital ridge down to here here will be the junction between the neck the face and the neck so everything from the below the orbital ridge downwards is described as the face good and then we have the base if this is the occipital bone and the vault it runs under it everything below the occipital protuberance is known as the base so we have the vault the face and then the base great now the next thing is to know, know about the bones the bones that form the vault yes so we have this we have five flat bones that forms the vault great so there is these two here these two bones here you see that there's a line in between so one bone here one bone here and these bones are known as the frontal bones the frontal bones good and then we have another two bones here you see there's a line between these two there's one here and there's one here these two bones are known as the parietal bones parietal parietal frontal frontal now the last bone is this guy here it's known as the occipital bone occipital bone so we have one occipital bone which which is at the back of your head two parietal bones which are like at the center of your head and then two frontal bones which forms the front part of your head good so now that we have spoken about the bones that form the vault because mind you it is the vault that will be doing a lot of manipulation during delivery that is why we are thinking about we are talking about these bones one occipital bone two parietal bone two frontal bone making five good now the most important thing now is to talk about the sutures because i keep saying that um you see there's a line dividing there's a line dividing here there's some line here good these lines that you see are known as sutures what are sutures basically we will say sutures are the part of the head 
that had not yet been oxified. If you remember, oxification is a process where soft um, um, membranes or soft tissues uh, get a lot of calcium and then they start hardening. That is ossification. Now, during the formation of the fetal skull, it all starts as a soft membrane. And then as the fetus grows, it starts to harden. So those parts of the fetal head that have not hardened yet, they are known as sutures those parts of the fetal head that has not oxified or has not hardened yet we call them the sutures so you remember you see that with um, babies when you touch their head you can feel some spot spots every soft spots every uh, um, at every point that you touch with some spots you get soft spots those are sutures so between the two parietal bone there is a suture or there is a a place where it has not been ossified yet and that is known as the sagittal sutures sagittal suture so the the line or the unhardened place between the two parietal bones is known as sagittal suture and then between the parietal bones and then the occipital bone you see that there is another suture here it's known as the lambdoidal suture lambdoidal suture and then we have Another suture between these two is known as the frontal suture. Between the two frontal bones, the frontal suture. And between the parietal bone, parietal bone and then the frontal suture, you, uh, and the parietal bone and then the frontal bone, there is another suture here. So these are the frontal bone, these are the parietal. There's a suture between the two and that suture is known as coronary suture coronary suture so lambdoidal suture between the occipital bones and the parietal bones between the two parietal bones you have the sagittal suture between the two frontal bones you have the frontal suture and between the parietal bones and the frontal bones you have the coronary suture great so you also see that apart from the sutures there are also some spots here you see a spot where several sutures, two or more sutures meet. Wherever there are two or more sutures meeting, we call that place a fontanel. A fontanel. So here in front, the, the fontanel that is closest to the face is known as anterior fontanel. Now there's another fontanel here, which is not very obvious, but between the um, lambdoidal and sagittal, Suture. The lambda is the suture between the um, occiput and then the parietal bone. And then at this point, you have the sagittal suture meeting with the lambdoidal suture forming the posterior fontanel. Now we have six fontanels in the fetal skull, but there are two that are of importance in obstetrics, and that is the anterior fontanel and then the posterior fontanel. So that is that for today. Um, we have sp spoken about some of the bones or the bones of the vault, the divisions of the fetal skull, the sutures, and the fontanel. Good. So that is that. Thank you for your time. And if there are any questions, feel free to ask in your comments. And then you can also subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. And share and like the videos. Please have a nice day.